News Channel 7 at 6 with Joe Moore, Lisa Trout, Chief Meteorologist Jason Kelly with Storm Track 7 Weather, and Scott Rossman on Sports. News Channel 7 at 6. Jason. Thank you very much. Coming up in sports, Scott talks about the Lady Commodores as they march on at Nationals. And he'll introduce us to a young world-class skier who happens to call our area home. Well, sort of. Sports is next. But now to another female athlete who knows a little something about going after national titles. As Annette Uguez tells us, this youngster competes for her championships on the water. Looking at Regina Jaclas hanging out with her friends, she seems like your typical 17-year-old. But get this straight-A student from Freeport High School in the water, and she's world-class. Regina was basically born into a water skiing family. She says her parents knew she was a champion at the age of five when she won her first tournament. And we're like, when you were five, you just had this desire just to keep going and you always wanted to go to tournaments and practice. Twelve years later, Regina is fulfilling her dreams of being a champion. She's the number one junior water skier in the world and is also third in the open standings. I thought it would come true, but you know, my, I would tell my parents that and they'd be like, yeah, okay, Regina. <laughs> but the road to victory has had its sacrifices. Like so many other athletes, for the past three years, Regina has lived here in Santa Rosa Beach with her coach, while her family lives in Atlanta. It's been really hard, but, I mean, I went up there this past weekend. They come down as much as they can, and they're always at tournaments that I go to, so it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. <laughs> Regina says it's her parents' continuing support that keeps her motivated to be number one. And while her head may seem stuck in the water now, she does have big plans for the future. I want to have my own ski school and be a vet. So, I mean, I, maybe it's too much, but <laughs> hopefully I'll get it. <laughs> With this year being her last year in juniors, Regina hopes to step up the challenge in the open division and reign once again as the queen of the water. In Walton County, Annette Uguez, News Channel 7 Sports. How cool is that? Regina's skills on the water will pay her way to college. She'll sign a skiing scholarship tomorrow with the University of Louisiana, Monroe. Thank you, Thank you Jason. Well, the Lady Commodores tip off their national semifinal. Scott tells us about that in a minute. And he'll take us over to Freeport as the local prep athlete signs a rather unusual scholarship. Sports is next. Well, tonight there are four more games in the NCAA tournament. Southern Illinois plays UConn. Maryland takes on Kentucky in the East Region semis. In the Midwest, it's Oregon and Texas, Kansas against Illinois. Hopefully, they will provide the kind of drama Indiana and Duke did in their South Region semi last night. The free throw putting the Hoosiers up by four. Duke brings it down. Ewing misses the three-pointer, but Jason Williams gets the rebound, hits his tray, gets fouled. A free throw to tie it, but amazingly, Williams misses that boozer was in, unable to put it back indiana stuns the defending champ 74 73 next up for the hoosiers the real big surprise of the tourney kent state which ironically last year beat indiana in the first round of the ncaa knew that oklahoma state and alabama and pittsburgh had no idea what they was in for um, this team is better than the last year team that we played from the standpoint since they beat us last year we all want to play them again but we know that you know, looking at the teams they beat, that they, they've earned their way here, and they're a great basketball team, so it's going to be a tough matchup for us. Those games are tomorrow. Now let's talk about a rather unusual scholarship signing today at Freeport High School. Yesterday we featured Regina Jackwis, one of the nation's top junior skiers. Today Regina signed a skiing scholarship with the University of Louisiana Monroe. A nice reward <laughs> considering to improve her moves on the water. Regina left her home in Atlanta to live with her instructor, Corey Picos, and his family for the last three years. It's going to be really different. I mean, I'm not going to be able just to walk down to the dock and have Corey in the boat every day anymore. I'm going to have to have a totally different new skiing technique. I'm going to be skiing with my friends, which will be nice. It will be different. And I'm going to be skiing as a team instead of just as an individual now. So it will be a new experience. <laughs> And good luck to Regina. Finally, to racing, the Cup and Bush races at Bristol this weekend. This from the Cup practice today. Johnson, Bush, and Newman with adventuresome afternoons, all doing a little spinning. Johnson has to go to a backup ride after his meeting with the wall. 
As for qualifying for Sunday's Food City 500, the pole goes to that man, Jeff Gordon, in record fashion, no less 127.2 miles an hour. Takes the spot away from Robbie Gordon, who was on the pole before Jeff ran, and then Jeff slaps Robbie upside the head. Gordon's first pole of the season on the Bush level, Jimmy Spencer in the Phoenix.